Hello. How is everyone doing today? We having fun out there? In internet land? Hi. So yeah, my camera, I forgot to plug it in and charge it. That's on me. <laughs> uh, we'll see. It seems to be charging right now. Let's give you a little tap a tap -a -roo. If it goes under the 2% that it has at the moment, then well, we'll have to figure something out, won't we? Um, but anyway, this is the part where I talk about what this is. This is me, my name's David, and this is where I come to share whatever project I'm currently working on. And I use this as a space specifically to make myself pick up those projects and go back to them and say, hey, do this thing because it's fun, not because you have to or because it's something that needs to get done or whatever. It's too easy to get caught up in wanting to advance what your current station is or what have you. And instead, you leave yourself by the wayside. And this is my attempt to not allow myself to be at the wayside anymore. Um, and also to hold myself accountable and make sure that I actually work on these projects. Uh, my previous list of projects was probably 300 ish things long um, heck this doing this was a project that I just wouldn't couldn't get to so yeah hopefully uh, that resonates with some of you and it'll push someone else someone else will see this and go hey I can do that. I want to do that. So do that. <laughs> I mean, watch me first and then do that. You know what I mean? Uh, anyway. We, uh, we went and checked out Camping World. That was interesting. If you're interested in overlanding um, or light camping. Oh, not camp. Not light camping, but like... If you're if you just don't if you don't want to glamp, um, it seems like Camping World's not the place for you. Everything that they have is RV, fifth wheel, massive stuff. Um, so that was kind of a bust. But hey, I got to go to Pegs, and if you've never been to Pegs, go to Pegs. Uh, I think it's a Nevada only chain breakfast place. It's uh, Get the biscuits and gravy. If if you like biscuits and gravy, you'll like this. If you're indifferent towards bis biscuits and gravy, this may change your opinion. Uh, I do a half order of biscuits and gravy and a side of bacon. Because nothing is worse for you than dipping bacon in gravy. But it's so good. <laughs> anyway... Um, we didn't get too far into our wiring diagram yesterday uh, because I was firmly on the track that's on the side as opposed to the area I was looking at. Oh, that's funny. If I move my head too fast, the AI can't keep up. Wonk. Hmm? Or is that just me? Like, no, I can. Okay, I get like one or two frames of background. <laughs> Now, channeling my older hardcore punk days. <laughs> this should be, this is going to actually be my last stream at this location. And again, no Friday game stream, unfortunately. But uh, the hope is my next set. Um, I'm actually going to be visiting family in Spokane. Uh, so I'm going to go from California to Nevada to Washington. And then back to California. And then 
at some point probably back to Nevada. <laughs> Picked the weirdest time to decide to try and throw this build together, but what are you gonna do, right? That's why a lot of it ends up being like this, where I'm just talking about what I'm gonna do. Uh, and, you know, part of it is I'm waiting on the actual funding from my budget, uh, waiting on the house to close so that I can start buying stuff and, and moving forward. Um, had a little bit longer of a conversation with Maggie about what she's hoping to get out of this. And, you know, part of it is uh, an easy camping experience. Like, not glamping. She doesn't want to, you know, a dishwasher or something like that. But just not having to worry about where the bathroom might be or... Um, what do we do if we have to take a shower? You know, things like that. That's Those are her concerns. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, gives me a little bit more insight into what I need to make sure is important and is included, if that makes sense. But yeah. I guess uh, without going too crazy, let's get into our next step. Uh, let me get Chrome up and running and Vivaldi. I still always try to spell the Y. I don't know. Let's actually do the transition properly this time. Ah. Oh, and let's see about making sure that we have this popped out because if I can't yell squirrel, what's the point? All right, we need to go to Tinkercad. And we were starting with the Renogy box. All right, that's not starting. We were in progress and I was figuring out that I need to change every one of these. because they're too darn big. So I need to move these decimal places over by one. So 1.035 by, I can't read it now. Maybe we do the height first. <laughs> it would be, if I'm moving over by one, it'd be 0.453. And then this becomes 0 0.630. And then it's going to be 1.035. 1 1.035. 1 no. Now, when I zoom in, am I going to be able to read that? Cool. All right. Now, let's do the same thing over here. I mean, I, get, I guess I got kind of lucky because my scaling didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. And we're looking at 1.78 by 0.86. Point eight six. Grab you over here. Now this one, do I have them combined yet? I do not. So we'll start with this guy, which is going to be point six five. Point six five by. Well, let's do this. Come on. Point one four six. 
and then 4.06, so that's going to be, hmm, point four oh six by point six five. And now this guy is point one six, no, one point six by one point eight. centered and I should probably put text on here to say like what this is and why it's here and it probably doesn't need to be quite this big either oh I missed a Pokemon how dare I to put it back on the real ground. If I undo... What am I undoing at this point? saved go back in tinker it hopefully it hasn't changed my work it's dang it it's permanent okay then how do I set home view why can't I get the plane back Oh, you know what I could probably do? That works, right? It's just weird to me that it won't let me put it here. But it's in the same place, so... He love you. Oh yeah, but I need to... Put you back down to a quarter. Oop. But just you. Okay. Now, was this open here? I don't think I had it open here. I had it open on Chrome and apparently it doesn't want to open the previous. Okay, fine, fine. Did it download all of the PDFs? It did not. Okay. So I guess I just have to get the charger up again. No big deal. No problem. I gotta find it all over again. And... Oh yeah, I need to go to includes. Uh, 
battery charger output fuse, solar panel to battery charger connector cable, battery to fuse, inverter to. I still don't like that it says that it includes it. I'm gonna have to find out why that is. I mean, maybe that upgrade is to add to it. I don't know. And I kind of came to a conclusion yesterday that I am going to probably just install one battery at first because I've got some time to figure it out and I can just keep an eye on the battery prices. And right now it's what a third off because it's 800 instead of 1200, but I always see this number crossed out. It's just a matter of what this number is. This, I think, is the lowest I've seen. But anyway. Um, wait. I'm just going to have to... Can I duplicate tab? Duplicate. Yeah. No. What is a mini or? All right, I know, squirrel. It's a play on a small meteor, maybe? I think I have one of those. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, it's this, no, this one? Yeah, IP67, that one. And downloads. Manuel. And then I gotta remember where they actually, first things first, we're looking for the space on each side. There we go. Plan a mounting side. The battery charger requires adequate clearance for installation, wiring, and ventilation. The minimum clearance is provided below. Ventilation is highly recommended. If it's mounted in an enclosure, select a proper mounting site to ensure the battery charger can be safely connected to the battery. You can mount the battery charger vertic oh yeah, vertically or otherwise. So the, f the battery charger itself doesn't have a fan. Does that mean I need to put a fan on the box? Would it just be, would it be a bad idea to put a fan on the box? Or do you think I would be able to get away with uh, using the fans that are in the inverter? Cause I didn't see where it, cause I, I saw that the inverter let's oops that's not what I wanted to do let's go back we want to Duplicate 
and oh, whoops. I'm going to go to the search. <sighs> One second. this is what we're basing it off of right so the man well for this one where's the those are the 700s the 1000 so it's got the fans are those exhaust fans or are those it just okay so they're cooling fans they're drawing air in yeah i'm probably gonna just want want to make sure that i have some cooling fans It's kind of dumb to do it, but does Renology, let's duplicate. Do they have a cooling fan that they recommend? Uh, and I put an L in it again. Did you hear that? Maybe instead of doing cooling fan, search for Can I look for ventilation fan? Oh, they have socks. <laughs> um exhaust fan? Okay, so it's it's gonna just appear no, no they don't. Which is fine. Um that means we're going to old Amazon and we are looking for What are we looking for? We are looking for DC well, what voltage is this system supposed to be running at? Um, do, 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 off road. It is 12 to 24, but it's a 12 volt battery. So, all right, we need a 12 volt DC. Because we don't want to do the conversion because it's just going to get converted back. solar powered <laughs> could have them have their own power that would be uh, a thing 12 volts ball bearings for DIY soldering 3d laser paint booth it's a side vent that could work. Because I was really thinking just, you know, holes in the top and everything, but I would prefer to keep this at least somewhat weatherproof. So I could have that on the side. I guess the question for me just becomes, okay, how loud is this? Low noise. 
it. <laughs> Works efficiently, improving air quality while providing you with a quiet space, making it the best choice for your purchase of this type of product. Okay. We have definitions for audio levels, like what's what's the dB? What's the dB rating? Come on. Uh, I guess, is there anything under measurements? Nope. Any reviews? Good quality, nice finish, a little loud. See? Oop, a bit of. This one's not getting away from me. Well, I don't know that it's not getting away from me, but I'm at least trying. Escaped. Dang it. And I also kind of need to think of this as something for outdoor. And I know that basically the bigger the fan, the slower you can run it, which means generally the quieter it is. Like the last thing I want to do is be running off battery overnight and just wee like nobody wants that. <laughs> Why are all these fans in water? Like what's are they trying to say that it's waterproof? Oh, they are saying it's waterproof. Holy cow. All right, let's let's <laughs> You've got my interest, sir or ma'am. <laughs> Yes. All right, but what do the ratings say? How loud is this thing? Puts out so much more air than a computer fan. I ordered three more using it for an RB fridge intake. Okay, that doesn't say anything. They're extremely quiet and noticeably more powerful than the factory fans. Well, all right. And I mean, for, for 20 bucks, right? Worth a shot. Let's see what we can get out of them. Um, that's going to go here. So get a link. Copy. Uh, I've got my phone right next to my mouse. That's making me do all that jumping around. Very sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. All right. What the heck? Good. Uh, this is high CFM dual ball bearing fan exhaust projects penalty something. Yeah. And we need to go here. This is power, and this is going to be uh, this will just be wired because it's DC material. Um, what is its wattage? You can look at that. 
12 volts, 6 watts. And we're going to start with one. It is $17. Alright, I said, yeah, $17.99. Here's our link. Linked. Oh, and the weights. Zero. The weights, nothing. <laughs> Wait for it. Get it. Okay. Uh, we are going to want the dimensions for it. 120 by 38. So whatever box we jam this in is gonna have to be gonna have to have a hole in it that size. Too, but neither here nor there. No, not this one. Okay. So let's just go about it this way. One. And why not? Put the put the extra effort into it. Okay, let's put the size. It was one twenty. One twenty by thirty eight. Generally, that means that they're. 120 120. Oh, there we go. 4.72. More text right here. We'll get rid of this. Get rid of this. See what's going on there? <laughs> ah, that's so dumb. So why? Let's go back here. Oink. There's got to be an easier way of doing this. Shortcut Q. 
GW. Oh, no, that's no, that's not what I'm looking for at all. You can use the work plane to place objects in a regular curving shape stack, blah, blah, blah. This is what I'm looking for. Ah, oh, gotta be faster than that. Where is then click on the work plane tool again? Cursor over default and left click. There's a better way to get your whole boxes to be flush up to the vertical portion. Then go to the work plane tool and put the work plane on the vertical surface. Then click on the work plane tool again, cursor over the default work plane, and click the left mouse button. Okay, but that's, that's 10 months ago. Left click doesn't seem to do it. And now suddenly it works. Okay, fine. I'll take it. I don't care. <laughs> so you're going to be 0.25 and then 4.72. So 0.472 by 0.472. Cool. Um, oh yeah, I was adding the text here that says, what does it says? It says here, 5.91 inch clearance. Five point nine one credits. Cameron, yoink. Shoop. And your hole. It's a whole thing. Get it? Squirrel. Great ball. A mass hold. Let's see. Jump. Mass hold. <laughs> it's so weird that it suddenly that one's in 3D. I mean, I understand that it's in 3D in the game that it's released in, and I don't, 
think that there's no there has to be a 2d i don't know yeah that would be the 2d version so why oh well <laughs> it's funny meanwhile back at the ranch okay so now let's open another Tinkercad because what we need to do is I need to figure out the maximum size that I can have here. If I'm plumbing everything on that side, that's fine. What is the size of this? So 17 inches by 34 inches. I should have that on here. So let's do it. 17 by 34. And let's validate that before I go setting it in stone. Luckily, we've been doing that sort of thing. So oh, I can just go this route. Batteries, lithium batteries. Luckily, there's not a whole lot of different batteries. I wonder if I can get away with one of these, because I think the biggest reason I'm looking at two of them is that... And what is this Black Friday? Black... I'm trying to figure out... Up to 51% off batteries with price guarantee. And does this mean if you find this exact same battery, then they'll price match it between now and then? Doesn't matter. That's not what we're looking. <laughs> no, no, you will not get sidetracked again. He has a porpoise. Not like a real porpoise. That would be illegal. Wait, didn't they have... They had a picture of, like... What you wanted to do if you were building an enclosure. Well. For some reason, I've got the sneezes. I thought they had a picture of their enclosure. I swear we were looking at a picture of their enclosure, right? You can choose suitable bus bars in parallel connections. Bus bars help handle hot current, blah, blah, blah. Better cell balancing. You're crazy. Plan a mounting site for optimal performance. It's recommended to install a battery in a clean, cool, and dry location. 
free from blah 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 accumulation blah blah sufficient airflow must be provided yeah this user manual takes a battery as an example to illustrate how to install the battery I mean I guess that's a good way to go about it Is it like was this updated recently? No. So what happened to the box install? I could have swore it was right around here. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's go back one. If I'm remembering right. It's in here. Yeah, there we go. All right. So 17.18. And my number is 17.8. You should be 17.18. No. <laughs> uh, 1.718. By 34.14. 34.14. And the height, 10 point, one seven. Okay. Um, let's make sure that that's on here. Close enough. All right. Sorry. I was adjusting some stuff on the, the OBS. Okay. So we know that size. We need it to, to sit. Quiet. You in here. 
So let's throw a box in here. I can't have it touching it directly. Um, let's make this smaller. Well, why don't I take you and you and make sure that that is good. Okay. But I should have done this first. 1.4. You? No. Obey me. 1.4 um, I'll get off of that some space there just for plumbing purposes how much space am I gonna need I think two inches from there to I don't want to measure it mm, go away <laughs> like what good is that I already kind of know most of these measurements no well, I guess not quite but I want to know the distance between this and this right now have them touching that's them touching and I have to remember that this is wait why doesn't it have the amount that it's being moved Six sixty fourths. <laughs> six sixty fourths is three thirty seconds. And that is point oh nine three seven five. Which, if I bring that over, that's almost an inch. I don't think that's going to be enough. Squirrel. Tertuga. Well, actually, that's fine because I'm, I don't want to have any plumbing here. There'll be no plumbing and no, uh, no fun. <laughs> I 
I'm thinking if I can put the fan on this side, it'd be drawing air from here. And then I have vents on this side. I can have it draw air in the bottom here and kick air out the top back here. And if I'm going to have it attach to this box that I want on the side, that's kind of my space. So 15 inches by 14 inches. This is already 16 by 18. And I mean, this is 17. So I can basically, I could probably get this to 1.6 inches, make that work. And should I, is it safe to assume that if it needs a, if it needs almost six inches this way, does that mean it needs six inches that way? So if I, that's 18 by 16. So if I go here and I basically just make that the top of the box. So basically you become like that. And then the height right now is 10 inches. Four, four, one point five. So, yeah, that's just going to be the top of the box. It could be the bottom of the box, too. I wonder if it would be better if that was the bottom. No, it would probably be better as the top, right? Is it better to blow air in? Yeah, you want positive from <laughs> from when I was my olden computer days. You want positive pressure inside the case. Let's see. Um, the best answer is definitely both. You should be exhausting hot air from the top of the room and blowing cold air in the bottom. Exhaust fan out or cool air fan in. Nobody caught the Tortuga.
Cooler fumes can phase in to reduce humidity and cool down a room. That's a bathroom exhaust. fan at the bottom blowing in. I'm practice having the fan point to your room. How to set up and position your fans. I'm not worried about pre-installed, I'm not worried about all that. I'm just making sure I remember correctly. <laughs> to add more or larger fans, okay. Check the edges of your fan for an arrow, okay, yeah, I know. Installation's easy. This is the one I'm wondering, that I'm trying to remember. From the right, side front of your case to the upper left rear. This path causes the air to heat up as it travels. Yep, I get it. Case pressure, there we go. Why did they do this, which is just this? Positive, make sure your components are always fed with fresh air. Quickly exhaust heat so it doesn't stagnate, but Basically, at the end of the day, they're saying it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you have air. Okay. So, I will probably go with having this at the bottom. So, let's throw that on there. And there's also going to be the question of... Let's switch you over. Actually, you can use the ye olde alignment tool. Make sure you're there. And center. Cool. This realistically is just going to become a hole, but you know, whatever. <laughs> um, oh, there is an issue in that. I need to decide. What's my thickness here? I mean, I'm probably gonna use chipboard, right? And like, I think some of this stuff is already waterproofed.
Zizner Bullseye. Can I do... Uh, Because my, my my thinking here is I'm going to use Plasta Dip. You know, that stuff that you put on your in, the end of tools and stuff. Um, a PCB? Yeah, conformal coating is what you want there. What is buzzing here? One second. through and you know I don't want to suddenly find out that the world ended while I was busy <laughs> does plastic dip waterproof wood so I guess that's yes Right, but yeah, that's that's basically my plan is plastic dip everything. So if I do let's just look at the particle board thing again. Or I did. I prefer chipboard, which is this stuff. OSB. So a four foot by eight foot, seven sixteenths, seven sixteenths. It looks like seven sixteenths is the right answer. I'm doing that thing where I look at the chat, but the chat is here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So seven sixteenth. Point four three seven five, which is zero point zero four. Seven three five, right? Four three seven five. And I said zero point zero four three or seven. And uh, four three seven five. Uh, zero point zero four three seven five. There we go. And squirrel. Here we're sending a great ball. That is a timber. Those guys are funny looking things. They look like um, they look like. No, that's not what I wanted to do. They look like like a Disney character carrying a log inexplicably. Wait, I already know this. 
this size, so 1.6. You need to be 1.6. You and you and you and you. We're going to center you all on this line. Let's get you out of the way. I guess I didn't, I don't need to do that just yet. Put you over here, right? Timber has been caught, sweet. you all on this line and you and you I want you no oh wait it was wait so if I do you and you and I say here I click this one, yeah, and then I can do that. Except I don't want it through that line. I want it just at the very edge of it. Let's turn you off. I mean, it could go the other way, I suppose. Wait, why aren't you centered there? Ah, what was that? has gotten screwy as I zoom in. Whoop. Why are you no longer centered? You know what? I should take all of these guys because I've already done that work group it that should already have been grouped in there but whatever and then I can take you and you Make sure you're centered there. And then group you together. Whoops. See, but now I'm in the same situation in that they don't actually intersect. And this is where what I should be doing is I'm going to drag you off. I'm going to go like so. You're going to go down to zero. Okay, that's weird. But oh, whatever. Oops. Um, let's get 
this. Good. This and this. Grouped. Then I can take this and this. And I can say on this plane, center it. And then I can go boom and boom and now I'm back to that problem of I can't adjust my plane again. Is it because I don't have the whole plane in the window? Did I make the plane too big? I can put this. Let's let's just bring you down to say ten by ten. center. Yeah. I think that makes my life easier. We'll see. Timber. Let's let's take a look at that timber real quick. Yeah, like, why are you holding that? <laughs> if I make this, no, it doesn't get bigger. Unfortunate. Now, oh, what level is he though? 8, 6, 10, 10, 9, 2. I need something high level, but that I don't want to keep. Like you. I think you were pretty garbage. Yeah. Goodbye. A wormple. That's level 12. Because everybody else is trading level 12. How do I only have two, though? I don't understand. <sighs> Such is life. So now I can attach these. And hopefully they're good to go. And then I just have to do the same thing over here. So we'll get you out of the way. Take you, we're gonna put you there. We're gonna drop you down to zero. And then we're gonna take you and you. Why can't I send her you this way? I'm going to center you this way. That'll work. And we group you. And is it 
Nice. Okay. Yeah, that being 20 inches was just too much for it to handle. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a child. Mm, problem, though. I don't have a height yet. Right now it's at 10 inches. And if I look at this one, it is at 18 inches. And technically on this one, I've got 16 inches. And here I'm looking at, okay, 16 inches. So the, the side pieces here are gonna have to, woof. The side pieces are gonna take an inch away. That is going to mess with my clearance, but I don't think it's going to matter. I mean, I'm already doing that here, right? But these guys need to be 1 1.8. 1.8. So in theory, I take this guy, I give it the rotate, it slides in here, and I shoot it up to the top. And it's basically gonna be like hereabouts. ish and I'll have to basically make a cutout for it right and then I'll have to be going this direction So here's kind of what I'm one of the issues that I'm running into at this point is I'm going to want to cut out both sides of this because the inverter has these nubs that come out, right? So I can't really do it this way. Is the inverter Is the inverter also uh, IP rated? This guy needs to go away. He's just down there talking in far too many of my videos. <laughs> fast enough and I do apologize oh I already have the inverter open okay so yeah based off of these fans no it is not IP rated um hmm So I can't have this on the outside, but what I can have on the outside is this, which changes all of this. 
Because in theory, if I have this on the outside, on the side that's facing back, it shouldn't get much squirrel. It shouldn't really endure much weather. So basically I'm just breaking up what I just did. I'm mounting this on the outside, which actually kind of makes sense because then I can, I can basically have Hmm. Then I would have to have the combiner bot. So then oh, I gotta finish a sentence, sorry. Um What it does is it gets rid of the need for the fan. It gets rid of the need for the box in general, actually. That's not true though. The inverter still needs to be in something because it needs to be out of the weather. There has to be... Where is the table of contents here? Plant an installation site on 18. Ensure the inverter is off. Do not install the inverter in the same compartment as the battery bank because it could serve as a potential fire hazard. What about under? <laughs> Never mount the inverter vertically on a vertical surface since it would present a hazard for the fan opening. Under, undermining cooling. Never mount the inverter vertically on a vertical surface. Cool, dry, well ventilated. This site should be free of any kind of moisture with a clearance of at least 10 inches around the inverter. Okay. Put the inverter close to the batteries. Limit EMI, secure mounting. Hmm. I did not catch a deer link. So sad. Okay. So, and this is this is part of why I'm doing all of this. A box may be a terrible idea for this. What I do instead, I go back here. My plan really is to build up a little frame that this can slot into, so it's held fairly firmly, and then the uh, oh yeah, it's hidden. <laughs> and then the battery box also slots in too. So if I just have basically this area as kind of a an open area, I could potentially, like I'll throw down a piece of Plexi or OBS over here. And then that'll allow me to mount stuff. I wonder if I could make it so it just slides in. I mean, either way, I'm looking at 18 by 16 to be right next to the water. And the water technically is 
nine inches high. But I'm going to add another maybe half inch to that because I'm putting a tray around it. And this is getting real close to the edge. Actually, let me look at that water tank, because right now I've got about, what do we say, an inch, two inches? What was it? It was six, six sixty-fourths, which is three thirty seconds. So yeah, just about an inch. But if I look, if I remember right, it's got the information for that. Ba -ba -bum. 19 inch longest length, not including fittings by nine by 14. So it's got two one and a half inch to use or move membrane with razor knife. Fitting is open. Do not over tighten. Tighten. Blah, blah, blah. Do not make a sealed connection with a garden hose directly to tank. This is a pressurized connection and will cause tank to explode. Explode. <laughs> I don't know, his tank just exploded. Basic plumbing kit includes two hose barbs, blah, blah, blah. So I've basically got it. I've got to work with intolerances on that is what I'm finding or what I'm hearing. So if I do a half inch hose barb, five sixteenths by one eight. Hose inner diameter, hex head size, barb size, hose fitting, A size, B size. It's 5 sixteenths by 1 8. But what is the length? <laughs> Give me the length. Click and drag to rotate, scroll to zoom. There was a problem. Okay, fine. Uh, maybe one of these, we'll say. Excuse me. Number of pieces. I mean, I'm sure that these are standard sizes, right? They have to be. 
he said with all of the confidence of someone who has no clue. Is there a chart? Fittings Incorporated. A nominal barb fitting designation, blah, blah, blah. Those are what I'm looking for. Why? Why would you make this information difficult to find? inch hose barb to half inch male pipe thread for hose clamps is there just a standard hose barb standard length So it looks like maybe one and a half to three inches. Maybe. Do I have anything that can validate that? There we go. So that's a one eighth. but I want one eighth to pipe thread. None of these are what I'm looking for. All right. And what I said was driving need a drink. Although, the one good thing here is it does kind of give me an idea. Ish. <laughs> uh. I mean, this is what I'm looking for, but where's... The only reason that there isn't a size being given is there has to be a standard size, and I just don't know it. I'm, I'm just not a part of the club that knows that. Like, is... According to this, there is no standard, but that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yes, I need to solve for A, please. All right, so 
Uh, I'm not going to get too much farther into the weeds. Too late, I know. I'm going to say that... If... Let's take this. We're going to put it here. And we're going to set you to... Point two or two inches. That's the range that I got to work with, right? Uh, no, not what I wanted. Oh, a goldine showed up and I didn't even notice. How dare it. All right, and then got to do kind of the same thing here which is this guy and we'll start you at zero and we'll say maybe no not that number point one that'd be one inch That knocks this amount of space down to 15 inches ish. To still give me enough room to run wires. Now, one thing that is true, I don't have to have the barbs going this way. Because there's space up here, I could have the barbs coming out this way and run up and over. Kind of do the same thing. I've got to figure out the right way to vent this. Because it says that it needs to be vented. Which makes sense. You don't want it to be negative or positive pressure. But how do you do that in a way that makes sure that you're not getting it full of bugs and eh, what have you. Is there an air filter? I mean, that's, that is kind of what I need. I need the ability for air to come in. Water tank filter. IBC tank filter for ventilated and safe uncharged Timu. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Let's see. Um, to vent. To safely vent a drinking water tank, you can use a screen. Really? Position the vent. Seal and secure. A gooseneck or J-type vent. Is that really just the... Uh, Freshwater tanks vent into the shower compartment. Venting into a shower compartment is a good solution if you have a brain fart and overfill the tank. 
it overflows to a relatively safe, easy to clean up place. Okay, so they vent, basically they have it set up as an overflow. All water tanks, class A customs carries must be gravity fed and vented. They're not pressure tanks. Cool. I understand. Rest garden hose and elbow do not make a secure connection. This would pressurize the tank. Cap fitting when not in use. Be sure to vent tank letting air in and out during use. Cover with screen to prevent anything entering the tank. We do not sell these products. Cool. And ABS inline vent. If this is an ammo, I didn't even look. Oh, it's a Home Depot link that is entered incorrectly. That's okay. So it's like a spring loaded doohickey. details should the air blah, 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 provide the ideal venting solution for island sinks unmatched performance Sure of an AAV when water is turned on, pressure change allowing airflow. Okay, but that's not what these are. <laughs> cool. All right, uh, let's go back to this. No, not this. This. Four hose clamp, hose barbs, PVC adapter, bent draw hose, okay. Class A customs. Read instructions, Bookler. I mean, they're right next to each other, right? All right, so this is probably a project unto itself. That looks like one of the vent thingies. Oh, whatever. We are firmly on a track that's on the side again. Um, all right. So yeah, we're working with roughly two inches. I could cut that down and have everything facing this way. And I can have the input and output be right there. So 
So here, we're back over here. And we basically got one and a half by Well, I've got 15 inches by 18. If I want it to match up, uh, let's bring everything back. If I want it to line up with this guy, 17 inches is closer to where I want it. But there is also the fact that I don't care if it's all the way up against it. forgetting this freezer that I'm looking at. I keep thinking that I need to put it into the inverter, but I don't. It's 12 volt. Um, this guy, this guy. Let's take a quick peek at that. Oh, it can do either or. Okay. Fine. All its plugs are on the back. Hmm. If I put this where I want to put this, I have to build another case. Because this is not meant to be outdoors, huh? That's not the end of the world. I just have to put a plug there for it anyway. So I build the base for it. It sits in the back of the car while we're driving around. And then when we get, well, is there, ECDC charging, five year after sales. Dual zone, blah, blah, blah. Huge capacity, home and car use. Oh, it has a protective cover. Is that protective enough to just leave it outside? Waste of money. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Manual book, refrigerator, and stuff. Spoink, I mean squirrel. Starts at page seven. Or ten, you know. Power off before cleaning, blah blah blah. Don't scrape, don't pressure wash. 
and then error codes. I need you to, need to operate at an ambient temperature up to 131. Weatherproof can operate under light rain conditions. Please keep the vents above clear of water and please add some clearance to the bottom if the ground is wet. Okay. Yeah, so that could be an issue, huh? Well, let's do a little bit of research. And, like, I wasn't 100% set on this. Although, it says with the cover. What does the cover do? Like, are you not supposed to have the cover on when it's running? What is the purpose of the protective cover? I mean, I feel like I should be concerned that not a single picture shows it in there. Specify 12 volt. See, this is the exact same thing. Something that can be externally mounted, though. That's the hard part. Restarting the entire. Hey, I caught the, the spoink. Restarting this entire search because I didn't look at something. That's the content you come here for. Well, if anyone can recommend one of these. I mean, the hard part is I want it to live outside, right? What if I search for outdoor external mount? these barbecue ones that are meant to be in, you know, semi-protected barbecue areas. Let's see, these are all, yeah, they're all like, they're in a protected area.
I guess there's no reason that I can't just fold some sheet metal around it. Like, I mean, that's, that's all these other ones are really doing anyway, right? I just, I'm, I'm looking at all of the mounts and cases and, and things that I'm having to build to make this work and beginning to wonder. Explorer Bear. Well, I think for now I'm going to leave it as is. Um, it is something I'm going to have to revisit, though. Anyway, let's let's get back to uh, get back to what we were looking at to begin with, which is what's changing here. The amount of space that I have, 1.5. The the 18's not a real thing. Um, there is space underneath. Let's doom, 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 hide you again. So 1.8 you are wait what? No, oh, okay, you're still just one. I was like, what how is that 1.8? That's over here, that's 1.8. Alright, so if that's one, that means that's a that's ten inch. So I'm gonna leave all of this. We'll set this over here. And let's kind of look at uh, point one by point one. Actually, let's do this the easy way. Too late. Yeah, I know. Uh, we want a wedge. One by one. We're going to center these. Well, you're going to be a hole first. Actually, no, the best way to do this would, I, would be to do this. No. <laughs> uh, boy. Well, we want you to be one inch thick. And then we'll center you here and center you here. And it'll move you over. That's not it. I'm going to move it over by point one. So, point 0.1 inch in fraction. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. To convert a decimal to a fraction, you can remove the decimal point. No. <laughs> Just no. Distance point one is three thirty seconds. All right. 
easy enough. So if I switch you to 30 seconds, then I can go one, two, three, one, two, three. Now you're a hole. And I actually didn't need to go this way. And there's my one inch angle bracket. Well, 10 inch. You need to become 0.1. And you need to become 0.1. And you need to become 0.1. Now we have one inch angle bracket. And we're gonna have, we'll start with 10 inches of it. Um, but what I really care about here, bring everything back. This is 34 inches. What is the internal width of the M100 trailer manual. Yes, the manual again. It's been a while, I know. Uh, nope. Nope, I should be looking for... Alright, fine. Where's the plate? There we go. Height inside. I want width inside. 38 inches. And you're 34 inches. Okay, cool. So if I go to you, and instead of being 10, I go 38 inches. Um, oops. It's not going to fit on here. <laughs> okay. Uh, Oh wait, so I'm already, so you need to actually be 3.8. Alright, so that'll be the entire thing. And then my farthest depth, this guy is 1.7, this doesn't really matter, 1.4. So I need roughly 1.8, but probably 1.7. And then I just attach you like so. Kind of. Swablu. I mean, squirrel. Squirrel squirreled. zoomed in. All 
right. Gonna group you. And then through the magic of Tinkercad, we're going to copy pasta. We're gonna mirror you this way. And this way. Now, if I did this and then this, there's my base. It's so cool, but unfortunate. I need to copy one of these out. So grab that. I said, all right, and then we can get all of these. Cool. And now we need to put our brackets in for height. our height that we're looking at here um, this guy is about 10 this guy is about 10 we've got some space between them Side 18 inches. So that explains why this guy's just sticking over a little bit because we've got about 20. So this guy needs to be honestly, it only needs to be 10 inches. Right? Because the other thing's 0.9. This just needs to be zero. Now, if I put you here and take you and I do this, and I say, I put you here and here. And that looks like it did the business, but let's make sure. Yes. And then I just do the same thing with you. Actually, If I join these, then I do it with this guy. And then I group them. Although I do need to pull you back out so I can see V. And we are gonna regroup you. Oh wait, I don't need you. Because now I take this, copy pasta. We zoom out so it's easier to see. We 90 degree it. Or 180, I mean, you know what I mean. And OBS crashed. OBS blade. Not OBS. And otherwise, we are good to go.
Why does this, why does this seem to be sticking out? Oh, I know. I need this, and I need to undo it, and I need you. And I think I need to undo one more. Yeah. And I need pasta you. You need to go up zero point one. I'll just move you the heck out of the way for now. Grab all of this, group it, bring you over. Make sure we're centered. Kind of that. Kind of. How is this getting away with being as large as it is? Oops. You guys aren't supposed to be part of the group. <laughs> Wait, so this is 18. Yeah, that's way, way, way too tall already. Now, one thing I do need, I need to input the maximum range for the pool, which if I, can I just grab you? I can. Probably should have just copied you. Because I did put a lot of effort into uh, putting that right in the right place. Alright, so rotate you 180. You need to be just one. I should get you down there. Although technically, you need to not be one. You need to be 0 0.8. I said you need to be 0 0.8. Wait. That doesn't make sense. So if you're one, you're ten. Each one of these is supposed to be one inch. Or is it? Yeah, point one. Oh, that's, that's right. It's not point, it, these are point one tall. But the thickness is, so this needs to be 0 0.98. I said 0 0.98. And then it needs to go up by 0 0.01. 
which should wedge it in there quite nicely, quite nice. And why am I doing it that way? We need you, and you, and you. Actually, we need you, and you to be friends. And then we need you and you to basically be centered-ish-esque. So that gives me an example of particle board being right at the midway point. I didn't catch the Swablu. Rigged. Right? Does that look right? That looks right to me. So then I can basically put drill points through for actually mounting anything here. And in theory, well, we don't have to do in theory. You are 1.9 by 1.4. 1.9. Or, wait a minute, why is this so drastically different? Unless I did that. And height, you are 0 0.9. Right, that's how it sits in here. Yeah, okay. So then I can just take this guy and move it over. Actually, a better choice maybe to do that and then select that and here you should be zero. No, you should be zero. Probably, no, no, it's got some space in there. So if I grab both of you. Oh, well, catching myself again. Because <sighs> right now this should be all the way up against the edge. So this doesn't give me the space that I need. And there's no way that I'm going to be able to register off the inside of that. So I'm going to have to register off of the outside. And then just add the point one. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. You need to be 0 0.01 up in the air. A fungus squirrel. Alright, and now the point 
of using all of this L bracket uh, is that I was going to make a thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, super. A thing. You know, a thing. thing is like normally I, I should just do that right but I'm pretty sure that this then drastically gets differently sized yeah it got thinner and that's not what I want Goodbye. And get you out of the way for now. Even though I put all that effort into centering it. Hey, I cut the fungus. Let's take a look at the fungus real quick. Squirrel. Hey, it's a level 14 fungus. Good, fantastic, and average. Just the way I like it. Alright, so let's get you out of the way, because you're a problem right now. So like the point is that I can get this inside of all of this L bracket, right? Technically, I'm a little bit off. I need to kick all of these out because this is assuming that I'm making perfect joints. I don't know that I'm going to be doing that. You know what I mean? But first things first, let's get you centered in here. And now I can just move this around by the grid. We'll put you all the way over there. And like I said, this is currently not where I want it to be. I need to face off of this. And all of my measurements, I basically have to add 0 0.012. That's a problem. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I know that it is 1.9, so if it is at minus 1.9, that's zero, so it's actually minus 1.91, that's zero. But I want to go two more inches over, which is minus 2.11. Okay. 
and now it kind of makes this bar silly. So we're gonna break that up. We'll break that up. And we're gonna move this in. So that it's actually holding the thing. You're going to have to go out just one more. That still gives it side to side or front to back movement. So we're going to have to take, actually we can take this top bar here. Because we're going to have this second one. We may be able to just take this one here and basically just shove it over. Like we don't need it to hit on the top. We're not worried about it going up and down. Not a lot anyway. I'll have to put something underneath it that's the same thickness, probably just to support it. So on the plus side, what that does also is I can kind of knock out some chunks, save some weight, right? Actually, this guy can come in here. And then I can either shorten this or I can shorten this. guy is basically going to sit on top of that. So then the question is, do I want this to stay long or do I want to just put another L there? I still don't know why I decided to make this 18 inches tall. It wasn't that long ago. Why don't I remember? So then what I can do is I can put the charger, this guy, well, wait, what size are you? You are 16 by about 10. So I don't quite get the clearance I need out of it.
But the one thing I'm thinking about is technically speaking, this can be outdoors. It does say to keep the inverter away from the batteries because it can be a fire hazard, but it doesn't but it says the charger should be close. The charger in theory is something that I'll need to look at occasionally, but I don't think I need to interact with it. Like once it's there, it's there. Zero. So I guess my question is, do I put another piece of this, basically move this back enough for one of these? Or I don't even need to move it back, I just mount it on the other side of it, right? So I just kind of mount you here up high. And then I can just kind of stick this on there. And that kind of gives me all the clearance I need and it's IP67, so it's fine. And then it allows me to take this now this basically just another chunk of plastic dipped wood goes there and you I'm gonna need the fan but you know safe sorry all that sort of stuff you I can basically mount in this space maybe This mounting. I'm going to extend everything out. Because the point of having it mounted there is that it's out of the elements, right? And out of the sunlight. 
and both sides of it need to be accessible front and back. And it just says don't mount vertically. I mean, the only thing I can think of is I take this bar, let's hide you real quick, this bar, and I, oops, that's not what I wanted. And I shrink you down. Problem is, if I do this, I'm going to need another one of these for here. Or just at this chunk right here. And then we start looking at the question of how much does this cost? <laughs> or how much weight is this adding? Because honestly, there's no reason that this needs to be metal. It's just the, the brackets are a little bit easier. And it, there's no reason it has to be as thick as I'm making it out to be. I mean, what's a... Um... And if I did it out of aluminum, like I couldn't weld it, but aluminum L, oh, aluminum angle, <laughs> aluminum angle iron is kind of a funny way of saying it. Yeah, like quarter inch, quarter inch may be too much even. But like if I do this, what's the weight? So about a little under a pound a foot. So four foot, four pounds. Whereas if I go and I look at the steel, well, let's look at Carbon steel angle. Half inch. Uh, let's see. Is. Oh, this is actually. This is. It's thinner but it comes out as less. No, well, it is it is half inch instead of one and a half inch. It is a third the amount of material. I mean, is, a ha is half inch enough of a bracket? I forgot. What is Komala? What is a Komala? Huh. Hmm. 
I mean, I guess I could have seen that, huh? It makes sense. All right, let's look at the one, at least one and a half. 1.25, one and a half, here we go. This is at least comparable. Yeah, so one and a half, uh, one, a little over one, one and a quarter pounds per foot. I could use a little bit less of it, but I don't think that's a significant difference. <laughs> and like if I put a little if I put this on sliders so I could just kind of push it over I could have a little lock here and I could push it over so that I could look into the plumbing area without having to get the battery off I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll be looking up and over and legs in the air kicking while I'm trying to fix, you know, <laughs> a couple of millimeters of space jamming my arms in there. Sound like fun. Ooh. Excuse me. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? See, and there's still the fact that this doesn't come all the way down. Like, I definitely want the tank to be as supported as possible, right? And I also want to make sure that the things that are dealing with electricity are in a place where if that tank leaks, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> That inverter is huge, man. And I don't want to waste that space. Then what goes here? Because this is the space that the battery box takes. And especially like If I take this all the way out, there's a lot of wasted space under there. I mean, a certain amount of it ha kind of has to be there. me really wants to just take this take this board and shove it I ain't working here no more and make it the entire no 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 Take this guy. And 
and just jam it on the side here. Solved. I mean, it's gonna have air coming in this way, air going out this way. I will probably need to put something here to keep bugs out, right? Like they crawl into these things. So some sort of plasta foam a filter basically that it's sucking its air through and blowing its air out of and then basically this would be the AC side I just cut a hole and in here would just be for the wiring I mean that's a whole lot of wasted space and that sucks. But I don't know what else to put there. And if you've got any ideas, please feel free. Leave it in the comments on YouTube. Leave it in the comments on the uh, on connectedme.com. Let me know. Let me know what you think should be in here. I mean, it obviously can't be anything that needs, that I need access to. Should I instead just extend this out a little bit? I mean, if I'm gonna have this big old thing hanging out the side, it's not impossible to say dunk right there, right? And then I'm just extending this out to enough to where I can get a plug into this. Of course, in theory, I do that, I can rotate the whole thing, right? Let's, let's explore that a little bit. So, we're going to put this guy, we'll say, boom, 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 it'll be in here somewhere. Um, this can end up going away. Well. Let's keep these together just for the sake of temporary argument. Same with the fan. But then I take this. Not you. And I rotate this 180 degrees. Now this space is up against the back of the trailer. This is technically pressed up against metal. I probably rotate that. Oops. So that way the wires, the wiring comes out and I can get to it and it goes down and over to this guy. This comes out, and I basically, well, even instead of this, I just use this back area as a channel for wiring and make sure that this guy has room and I can cut holes through there for each of that. Then I'm looking at taking this chunk of angle down to what about half Ducati I 
I at least got it in. Squirrel. Um, uh, 1.9. Yeah. Well, maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, 2.1. Seems right. <laughs> And then I'm basically just extending one of these. And this up top has to stay. But this guy now can be shortened as well. So that gets basically its own box. This is a, an internal thing. I throw another chunk of wood here. The combiner box goes in there. I think that's the business right there. Holy cow, it's five o'clock. All right, let me save this. Oh yeah, cloud, it's saved. And let's switch over. Pile, pile. So I can say to everyone, thanks for watching. Let me make sure I'm, oops, I'm on caps. There we go. So, uh, hey, on the way out, caught the Del Caddy. But anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, making it this far. Making me a part of your day means a lot. It's pretty cool of you. Um, hopefully I'm doing something interesting. And uh, hopefully it can inspire you to, to jump on your projects. Do the thing that you want to do. Don't. Don't take everything so seriously like I do. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for making it this far. If you were lurking or just hopped in and out on Twitch, awesome, thanks. Uh, maybe say hi, could be fun, you know. I wanna hear your opinions, I wanna hear what I'm doing wrong, let me know. Anyway, thank you on that note. I am not quite out of here. <laughs> out of here. <laughs>